Consider taking a trip to one of the most isolated locations on Earth instead of a popular tourist destination? Some of these locations can only be reached by boat or plane. While some of these isolated areas have wonderful tropical weather, others call for enduring icy winters or arid deserts. You decide which journey to embark on. Before we begin exploring the most isolated places on Earth, we would like to remind you to subscribe while hitting the bell icon for more interesting content and mind-teasing videos. Did you subscribe? Great! Let's begin. Cooper PD, Australia also referred to as the opal capital of the world, Kuber PD. The little community of 3,500 inhabitants is still supported by the opal mining business, which was the site of the first discovery of gem-quality opal in 1915. A two-hour flight will get you there from Adelaide. Longyearbyen, Norway Longyearbyen, Norway, the northernmost town in the world, is so chilly that it is against the law to be buried there since the frozen ground will not allow for decomposition of the body. Instead, remains must be transported by air to the mainland for interment. In order to prevent them from sliding away as the topsoil melts in the summer, houses must also be constructed on stilts. It takes three hours to get there from Oslo on Norwegian Airlines' three weekly flights. Palmerston, Cook Islands the entire population of Palmerston Island is descended from William Marsters, an Englishman who migrated there in 1863 and had 17 children with four wives. There are just two telephones on the island, only four hours of internet connection per day, and only a few supply ships visit the island each year. Rarotonga, the Cook Islands capital, is two days away by boat from Palmerston, and Tahiti is eight days away. La Rinconada, Peru La Rinconada, the highest city in the world, is located in the hilly Puno district of Peru. It is three miles above sea level. According to CNN, the town lacks a working sewage or water infrastructure, and approximately 68% of the people there are considered to be living in poverty. It is difficult to obtain. La Rinconada is six hours of rough roads and lacks regular bus service from the closest city. Supai, Arizona Mules are used to deliver the mail in Supai, Arizona. The only ways to get to a remote community in the Grand Canyon Southwest Wing are via helicopter, horseback, or an eight-mile hike. The Havasupai tribe, whose name translates as People of the Green-Blue Waters in reference to four tourist attractive waterfalls along Havasu Creek, has its tribal headquarters in Supai. Socotra Island, Yemen the strange-looking dragon's blood tree on Socotra Island makes it one of the planet's most otherworldly-looking locations. Over 800 rare plant species, including a third that are unique to Socotra Island in Yemen's Gulf of Aden, are found there. Although some of them certainly have an alien appearance, their peculiar shapes are a result of their adaptation to the island's tropical desert climate. Socotra Island, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, has 40,000 residents, although it only constructed its first road in 2011. The distance between Socotra Island and Sana'a, Yemen's capital, where flights are available, is around 400 miles. Villa Las Estrellas, Antarctica A gym, church, public school, and gift shop are all present in the Chilean village of Villa Las Estrellas, sometimes known as Star Town, which is located in Antarctica. There are only two residential towns on the entire continent, the others are occupied by scientists as research outposts. From Ushuaia, Argentina, one must travel by boat for two days to reach the Antarctic Circle and cross the Drake Passage. Changtang, Tibet Changtang is referred to as the roof of the world, and its elevations range from 4,000 to 9,000 feet. The Changpa are a nomadic group who live along a 990-mile stretch of the Tibetan Plateau. Wildlife that thrives in its chilly, arid climate includes yaks and snow leopards. It is reachable by the Leh Airport, Uthmapur Railway Station, or by car from Manali or Srinagar, although entry requires a permit, which can cost several thousand dollars. Siwa Oasis, Egypt The Siwi language and Amazigh culture of the locals have been maintained due to the Siwa Oasis' extreme isolation in the western desert of Egypt. It's a five-hour bus ride from Cairo, so it's not a frequent stop for tourists, but those who visit the desert may eat dates and olives that are farmed nearby, swim in Cleopatra's Bath Mineral Springs, and stay at the renowned desert eco-lodge made of mud and salt. Kerguelen Islands, French Southern and Antarctic Lands The French Southern and Antarctic Lands include the Kerguelen Islands, 
which are located in the Indian Ocean. They are only reachable by ship four days a year and are located 2,000 kilometers from the southernmost point of Africa. The 2,400-square-mile Kerguelen Island, often called Desolation Island, is ringed by 300 smaller islets. The Kerguelen Islands, which are covered in glaciers, have 300 days of rain, sleet, or snow annually. The majority of the residents are French academics. Itoka Korto Ormite, Greenland. Itoka Korto Ormite, which was established in 1925 by settlers from Tazilak and West Greenland, is the most remote settlement in all of Greenland. Since the town is so far away, getting there from the airport requires a helicopter journey. While tourists travel there to witness the northern lights and other natural beauties, the town's 450 residents enjoy dog sledding and camping. Even though sea ice prevents any ships from docking for nine months out of the year, it is also a popular cruise destination. Barrow, Alaska Barrow is only reachable by air, there are no roads there, but the hour and a half journey from Anchorage is manageable. In their winter, which lasts 65 days in a row, they live at the top of Alaska. The expensive life is expensive due to the area's isolation. Peanut butter can cost up to $10 per jar. One local mentioned that there are more caribou than people. Pitcairn Island, British Overseas Territory. 3,300 miles between Pitcairn Island, a British Overseas Territory, and New Zealand, the island's administrative center. It takes a 32-hour boat voyage to get there because neither an aircraft nor a helicopter have ever landed there. Although nothing is known about the island's early inhabitants, European mutineers of the ship Bounty landed in 1790 and found the remains of Polynesian civilization, including stone gods, burial grounds, and earth ovens. Six local men were found guilty of sexual assault in 2004, which had terrible, all-encompassing ramifications on the community of 50. Due to the ongoing issue, Pitcairn Island is still a beautiful island that does not draw many new people. Easter Island, Chile the 900 famous statues on Easter Island may not outnumber the island's 3,300 inhabitants, but tourism, as visitors from all over the world travel 2,300 miles from Chile to see them, is the island's main source of income. The statue's construction and intended use are still a mystery, despite being a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Oymyakon, Russia The coldest inhabited place on Earth is this isolated Russian settlement. Its 500 inhabitants endure an average daily temperature of minus 58 degrees and 21 hours of darkness. People there subsist on reindeer meat, frozen fish, and ice cubes of horse blood with macaroni because it is hard to grow crops there, according to Wired. Since indoor plumbing can be difficult because the water freezes, most people use outhouses. It can take several days to get there. The closest flights from Moscow are to Yakutsk or Magadan, both of which are about 560 miles away. The Road of Bones is the name of the route that connects those cities to Oymyukon. Cape York Peninsula, Australia Cape York, Australia's northernmost point, is a peninsula inhabited by crocodiles. However, for recreational fishing, it's a fantastic location. Five indigenous communities are the land's owners, and they are also in charge of running its tourism business. Cape York is almost a 28-hour trip from Cairns, therefore, you must rent a four-wheel drive car. Tristan de Cunha, British Overseas Territory There are just nine different last names among the 258 inhabitants of the South Atlantic volcanic island of Tristan de Cunha. The locals speak English, but they have also created their own dialect that reflects their different origins with vocabulary from Scottish, English, St. Helenian, South African, American, Dutch, Italian, and Irish. This British Overseas Territory, which is considered to be the most remote inhabited archipelago in the world, is closest to South Africa. You must schedule your visit on one of the three ships that travel 1,732 miles in nine different directions from Cape Town each year to get there. With this last part we have reached the end of our video. Just a reminder if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, and don't forget to subscribe while hitting the bell icon for more mind-teasing videos. Thanks for watching. Until the next one.